Not sure if you knew this or not, but you can actually make your own patterns in The Sims 3, and I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's CJ Placer, and I'm back with another Sims 3 video. Now, today we're going to be making our own patterns in The Sims 3. So, you may be aware of The Sims 3 Create a World tool that allows you to make worlds, but we also have another tool that allows you to make patterns for the game. So, you know, like when you go into Create a Style and you scroll through all the little patterns and stuff that you can put on your clothing and objects, well, now you can make those patterns with an official tool. <laughs> so, it says Create and Share Your Own Original Patterns for the sims 3 whether you've been hankering for a new plaid shirt for your sims pjs or an exquisite flourish of tiles for their floors everything you want to create is now within your grasp design a pattern quickly using dozens of images available in the sticker library or layer and modify your own images to create even more unique patterns expand your creativity and share your creations online through the sims 3 exchange so you can actually share these online which i think is kind of cool like this person right here y'all in this screenshot like created their own like designs and stuff like that can i like get a closer look oh I can't, I need flash, Never mind. <laughs> well, hopefully you can kind of make it out. They got like a their own custom wall and stuff like that in patterns. So I think that's kind of cool. So all you need to do to install it is just read the terms and conditions and just install it that way. So I already have mine installed. So let's go ahead and just pull it up real quick. Okay, y'all, so we're finally in the tool. And as you can see, you have a layer panel over here we also have some things down here we have our color wheel over here and then we have like a i guess a, a tab i guess so i guess we'll start making a design so i guess we'll go down here and just pick something i've known about this tool for a while and i've used it a couple of years ago but that was literally years ago y'all and i've kind of forgotten a lot from then till now so maybe i could just put some bears down or something you know y'all do know i like that rustic aesthetic like especially in my log cabin builds and stuff like that i like to do it let's put like a deer up as well maybe like two deers or something and then maybe we'll put like a little owl or something or a bird we'll put one like that so we have our design now can i change the background oh no no, no i don't want to wait what am i doing i think i'm messing it up Ugh, okay can we just like make it go back to normal What's the normal? Okay, that's the normal one. Okay. <laughs> we can also change the opacity, which I'm not going to do. And we can also change the brightness, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to leave that default. So, okay, I have my layer. I want to change the background color. How do I do that? Is it this? Can I change the background color? I don't think I can change the background color, but I can change the color of this one, can't I? I think I could. Maybe. And if I like drag it under this, maybe? I don't know, y'all. I think I'm making it worse. Okay, you know what? <laughs> We're just not going to worry about it. After I make my pattern, what do I want to do now? I think you're supposed to click down here. Yeah, I think you're supposed to click down here and then you can apply your design to an object. So you have like a 3D room. You have like space for your wallpaper. You have objects you can place it on. I think you can also place it like on the TV if you want to. So let me go ahead and try to apply my design and it's up here, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at my design. It's looking kind of interesting, I would say. But yeah, I, I kind of want to color like the back of it. So that was the object sofa. Oh, and I could put like on the chair if I wanted to. Oh, that's kind of cool. What if I try to put it like on the wall? We'll put it on the wall, apply. Oh my gosh, I wish I could turn the camera. Okay, here we go. I figured out how to turn it. It's kind of hard to maneuver a little bit, but we have it on the wall. And then let's see, can I put it on like the TV? Put it on the TV frame. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this. Let's go back. So I guess when you want to go back, you just hit edit mode. And when you want to go and look at it in a room, you just hit this little thing down here. So this is kind of cool. Now I want to know, can I color the back of this? Is it this? Oh, okay. So you want to color the background. You hit this little empty box down here. Oh, I'm learning y'all. I'm learning. So could I put a pattern on this one? Like, could I put a pattern here? I guess, could I do that? I don't think that's possible, no. I might have to like layer this where this is the background maybe. I'm not sure. But y'all, I kind of want to make something green, green like that. Yes, and then I'm going to go here. And then, oh, it already fixes it for you. That is really cool, y'all. So it fixes it for you in real time. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I got my pattern. This is kind of lit. We're going to go back to this mode and I want to like save it. How do I save it? Do I hit this? Do I hit new, open, save, save as, export? I want to hit export because I think if I hit export, I'm just going to call this rustic animal print. Okay. And I guess I'll put it in, in fabrics. I don't, I'm not going to give it a description. And then I'm going to extort it. So it says it has been extorted successfully. So if I'm not mistaken, I should probably check out my Sims 3 folder to see if it's in there. So give me one second and I'll check it. Okay, y'all. So I found the export. What you want to do after you export it in the program, you want to go to wherever you have the Sims 3 pattern tool installed. So for me, it's in my documents, my electronic arts. And when I clicked on that, you want to click down here to where it says export. Then you'll have your design. So for me, it's my rustic animal print, or it'll be like whatever you name yours. And I guess from here, you can just install it into the game. Game. so i want to really quick just pull up my game to make sure it works so give me a second okay so i went ahead and installed it to install it all you want to do is just put it in your sims 3 downloads folder like you normally would with any sims 3 files
tile. Once it's in your game, you go ahead and you locate it. So for me, it was in the fabric category. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And as y'all can see, I have my pattern right here. Now, the only thing I would have done differently is gave it some more like channels so I could like edit different things. So for example, I could change the color of the background and maybe like change the color of the bear or something if I wanted to. But just for the sake of the demonstration, I just did it the way I did just so I can show y'all that it does indeed work. And now I'm just going to put it on this chair because I just want to see how it looks. Like, I mean, I think it still looks kind of cool though. I should have gave it more tabs so I could like change different things individually, but I still think it's kind of cool and it does work. And then I guess for the wallpaper, what I have to do is just do something like this. Uh, we'll just do something like this and I think I have to like just cover it over it and there you go I just went ahead drug it over to the wall Let's see how it looks if the whole entire wall is just covered with this like I mean I still think that looks kind of cool though I mean again for my first attempt. I'm kind of pleased with it. I think it looks pretty cool <laughs> And you know what now? Why don't I just try to put it on Elliot too? You know what? Let's take Elliot to create a sim real quick and we'll see how it looks on his coat All right, so I have Elliot in create a sim I'm just gonna go over here and put it on his coat. And I think it looks kind of cool Like I mean it's a different look for Elliot, but I think it looks kind of nice. Like, look at that, kind of spiffy. You know what? Let's save that as a as one of the priest watches. There we go. <laughs> he looking like he ready to go out somewhere. Let's put it on his pants too, just because. Oh my gosh. Okay, this might be doing a little bit too much. Okay, you know what? Let's put it on the shoes too, because why not? <laughs> I mean, we gotta have him having like a matching outfit. I mean, look, it looked kind of nice on his shoes. Maybe like just do like this too. There we go. Look, he got a whole entire matching outfit. He's fresh to death. <laughs> All right, so we know it works. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the program again. And I kind of want to make my own pattern this time, like with my own design. So let's go ahead and test that out real quick. So to make your own unique design with your own image, what you want to do is you want to go down here to this little plus and it's like a little paper or something like that symbol. Click on this and then it'll pull up your PC like files and stuff like that. For the sake of this tutorial, I have like this one picture on my desktop that I could use and it's called like VOV I don't know what that is, but we're gonna click this and your picture should appear down here and I think it's oh my gosh y'all, It's my sim <laughs> It's my sim Bob. Okay, so I used to stream with this sim a long time ago. He's like a plumbot. He's really iconic, especially on Twitch. And yeah, I have good memories with him. So we'll use him for the sake of this tutorial. So I have my picture right here. Then of course you can always add more things if you want to. Maybe I'll add some hearts because I kind of like Bob. You know, he was really iconic on my channel. Oh, we can always use this heart. Oh, for a little, you know what? Let's put a heart right here. <laughs> I think this is doing a lot for one layer. Maybe, I. you know what I could do? Let's delete this and let's try to put it on a different layer. Let's try to put that on like this layer. Does that work? So I moved the bob layer up one. I'm gonna put this one underneath. I don't know how this is gonna look though, but we'll, we'll just do it this way. Some pizzazz, we have that. And oh, we have like this little, ooh, could this be like the background? Oh, that could be the background, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Let's make the background maybe like a blue or something. We'll make this like a baby blue. Okay, we have that. <laughs> now we have this, what does this do? I don't know what this is supposed to do. I don't know what the top layer does. Can I like add a pattern on this layer? I don't think I can. So what can I do with this top layer though? I have no idea what the top layer does, but what about this layer? So we have this one. Can I add like a pattern to this? This might be messing it up y'all, probably. I might be messing it up. So if I click all the other things, oh, what if I like move Bob up one? What if I move him up? like here okay i figured it out okay so i move bob to the top like so this is, looks really bad by the way maybe i can make it smaller <laughs> this looks super bad you know what forget it we're not gonna use this <laughs> maybe we won't use this one at the end oh wait we won't use that one there we go we're not gonna use that one i want to maybe put like a plum bot or something because he is like a plum bot so we'll put some plum bobs down if i do control c and control v does it copy it oh my gosh y'all control c control v you can literally or just literally hit control v Oh my gosh, you can make a whole bunch of these. That is so cool. We'll do something like this and then we'll pull up everything else. Okay, so it's looking kind of good so far. I mean, good is, you know, a relative term, but still. So what can I do for the second layer, I wonder? Maybe make it a little bit big, something like that. Yeah, make it look kind of like that so it's not so stretched out. There we go. For the sake of the tutorial, I'll put something on this swatch just so we can see it come up in the final result. Let's put like a camera or something in the corner. I just kind of want to see how it's going to look. Hopefully it should show up now. Yeah, there we go. It shows up in the corner, kind of. <laughs> All right, so pretty much that's it. We have our like our main color. I don't know what this top layer does though. I have no idea what this is supposed to do, but is there we're gonna click it we have our design done let me go ahead and go back to the room and then we'll try to apply it to this couch oh my gosh this looks not good at all <laughs> that looks horrible okay that looks really bad okay 
never mind. But y'all at least get the idea of what I'm trying to do. We'll do like the wall shelf. We'll apply it to the shelf over there. As y'all can see, it shows up on the shelf. We'll also try to apply it to the actual wall. Okay, well, there we go. We got Bob. I feel like it would either look better without the print or without Bob. But hopefully y'all get what I'm trying to go for. We'll also do it for the TV frame just so like, y'all can see it up there. We'll also do it on the TV shelves just so you can see it. And then we'll do it on the TV stand as well. So, you know, hopefully y'all get like a better picture of what it looks like. Let's put it on the rug as well. We have our Bob rug. Okay, <laughs> let's also like change the coffee table as well. There we go. There we go. We got Bob on it. Pretty much everything, y'all. Put it on the globe as well. There we go. Yeah. So hopefully y'all get an idea of what this tool is about. I like the fact that we actually have like an official tool from EA to make our own patterns for The Sims 3. I think it's kind of cool. So I will leave a download link to where you can download the program. And you know what? I'll leave a link as well to the first design that I did. If y'all want the second one with Bob, let me know because I'll give it to you. But trust me, it's not that good. But I'll leave a link to the first design we did. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, up the down below and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching